I'm Father Gray, and this is a St. Mary's Sunday. This weekend, we hear from St. Paul writing to the Philippians. This most wonderful little piece of text is called the Philippians Hymn, or sometimes the Christ Hymn. Let's listen to it. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sometimes we make this mistake that religion is what gives us morality, that what our faith is what gives us ethics. Not so. Our ethics, our morality can come from all kinds of places, but what our faith gives us that is special is this, Christ's humility. The humility of Christ isn't merely just an example like those kinds of things which are moral, like do not steal. As a good example, watch other people who do not steal. Do not lie. As a good example, here are people who do not lie. Much more than that, the humility of Christ, the fancy word for this is the kenosis of Christ, is something which allows us to actually enter into the saving mystery of Christ. Our habits, those things that we do which are good, our virtues even, are not really things that make us saved. They're just good characteristics. Those things that we do which are worthy of Christ in terms of what would Jesus do? He would do something good kind of things are well and good, but they don't give us salvation. However, Christ is the one who saves us. Christ is the one who, being God, humbled himself. This humility is something which not a million humiliations can teach. This humility of Christ is something which is particularly Christian. This is the mystery of Christian, Christianity. This is the mystery of what is our faith. Our ability to also be modeled by this, to have this modeled for us, that is molded into it, is something which is primarily the Christian's duty. Our ability to let ourselves be formed into this kind of person is something which is really distinctive about our Christian faith. This takes on a variety of concrete roles in our lives. This, this humility in us becomes concrete in the way in which we actually love, in the way in which we actually care for others. Love always is this thing which is desiring the good of the other for their sake. Well, you can't do that unless you are humble. And our salvation in Christ is not something that we have access to unless we realize that we need his salvation, we need his mercy. Christ's mercy in us is one of our most valuable treasures. It is his mercy which leads to these most valuable treasures of our faith, which are the body and blood of Christ, which are the word of God, which are Christ himself made present. As his followers, let us be humble. Let us let the humility of Christ dwell in us richly, because in that is also our salvation.